Good morning. Today we're going to talk about ichthyosis vulgaris. Now, this before we get started, this is a picture of ichthyosis vulgaris. And can you get in close enough, Bill, so everybody can see this? What it is, you'll, is you'll see this is a very severe case where it, it looks like fish-like scales. Ichthy comes. Uh, the word ichthyosis comes from the word ichthy, which means fish scale. And so that's exactly what it looks like. And for people who have this condition, you'll know what it is. Um, oftentimes it looks like dry skin, and in the more severe forms it looks like this, where the scales heap up. Now with a mild form, you have to look very closely, and you'll see it looks like shingles on a roof, or it looks like fish scales. So this condition is genetically derived. You inherit it from one or both parents. This is, if it, in the very severe forms, it can lead to serious um, problems with your barrier to the outside world. But in most cases, ichthyosis vulgaris, we, um, it's just an annoying cosmetic nuisance. And since contour dermatology is a place where we care about the best of both worlds, by that we mean medical conditions as well as cosmetic conditions, we want to talk to you about your different treatment options. Now, the most common treatment option is just going to be to use a gentle cleanser, and the one I like the most is CeraVe. And the reason I like this is because it has natural oils in it called ceramides. These are natural oils on our skin, so they help to hydrate your skin while you're cleaning your skin. And then the, sec the second thing that we can do is we can use emollients or, or um, greasy lotions or creams um, to help lubricate the skin. And this will help soften the, the, the scaling or the, the rough texture that you see. Then the next thing we can do is we can use exfoliating agents, things like lactic acid or glycolic acid. Now what these will do is they'll help to exfoliate the skin and they also are humectants, which means they attract water to them. Now for some people, if the barrier is really disrupted or you're, you have little um, abrasions in the skin from this condition, then it may burn and sting a little bit. So you have to really balance the emollient, the greasy stuff with using the exfoliating agents. Finally, if it's really severe, you can do things like retinoids. And retinoids would be something like Accutane. And what these medications do is they help to um, normalize the, uh, the proliferation or the uh, cycle of how the skin cells exfoliate. And so this can be beneficial as well. Now, with this, there's only one thing to really worry about, and that is that sometimes we get an infection. The infection could be a bacterial infection and sometimes possibly a fungal infection. And that's because, again, the, the barrier is disrupted and so bacteria and infections can get into the skin and cause problems. So if you suffer from this or you know somebody who does, have them see a dermatologist and they can help control this condition. Thank you so much.